Welcome to the Comic Story and Channel, where we take comic books, movies, video games, and we break down the contents of these elements into audio dramas, allowing you to keep up with your favorite pop culture element while living your busy life. We've been recently doing the storyline of The Batman Who Laughs, and today I am going to bring you the finale. If you want to catch up on it, I will link the playlist down below, but just for a quick recap to remind you what has been going on. The Batman Who Laughs is a version of Batman who was merged with the Joker in the Dark Multiverse. Batman fought against him in the Dark Knight's Metal event, and now the Batman Who Laughs is free and trying to prove to our Bruce Wayne that he is the worst Bruce Wayne. He's not happy, he's ineffective, and he doesn't know what he's doing. As a way to combat against him, Joker actually walked over to Batman and injected him with the Joker serum, turning Batman essentially into another version of the Batman who laughs. The only way for our Batman to understand his evil version and possibly be able to fight against him. They have gone back and forth in their battle, but every time the Batman who laughs has won by pulling a different Bruce Wayne into this universe and then killing him, showing our Bruce Wayne why that one was better than him. And now they stand face to face in the final bout. A young Bruce Wayne has been pulled through, one who has not lost his parents yet, and he has run off. While the young Bruce Wayne is running off, the one who laughs has leaped on top of our Batman, telling him that the truth is, he's at his happiest right now, as he's about to convert into the one who laughs. Slowly, Bruce's face begins to twist as his lips pull into a vicious grin. He stares up into the face of the Batman who laughs, his eyes large and red with insanity. The one who laughs takes a step back, removing his foot from Bruce's chest, allowing him to stand. See? I was right, wasn't I? He grins. This is the happiest moment in Batman's life, isn't it? The two men turn to see the young Bruce in the alternate reality running towards the mansion when finally lightning cracks in the background and the one who last turns. A small syringe with a light on the end of it in his hands. Once the light in the syringe shows red, your blood is my blood. With Bruce's blood polluted, the one who laughs can use it to transform the city. Everyone will become infected with the Joker toxin. Yet he stops, pulling free a submachine gun from his chest. But it means something else, doesn't it? He asks. Batman just smiles, his look of insanity complete. There can be only one. <laughs> In the water reservoir, the Grim Knight has his hands around Commissioner Gordon's throat. He dumps the toxin into the water with his free hand, calling for James to help him kill his father. But Gordon isn't out yet, slamming his knee into the Grim Knight before jumping into the water to go for the Knight's weapon. Back at the battle though, the one who laughs, smiles, somehow gets broader, drawing the weapon around so that it points at his own head. This is it, Bruce! <laughs> Fly high, my friend! Fly high and leave your world as a true Batman! Batman just smiles. I will, brother. A brief moment passes and the one who laughs cocks his head to the side. The gun swings around, gunpowder exploding as he pulls the trigger, launching a small burst that clips Batman in the shoulder. You almost had me, Bruce! He snarls. I don't know why you haven't changed all the way, but I don't care anymore! He aims the weapon again as he speaks, realizing that his plan is not working. Batman is not becoming the one who laughs. See, I was your best friend, but now, now I'm just gonna kill you. In the cave, Jim is being dragged from the water, with the Grim Knight once again having him by the throat. Instead of killing him, he has an idea. Make him the first one. Gordon tries to hold his breath as he's thrown beneath the surface of the waves, now polluted with the toxin. The Grim Knight screams for him to open up his mouth, to let the madness in. He calls for James again, ordering him to slit his father's throat if he doesn't listen. At the manor, the one who laughs is distracted as he turns to see the young Bruce running away. I almost forgot about you! He smiles as he turns from the wounded Batman, pulling free the blade from his coat, and he begins to stalk his prey. The young boy leads him into the Wayne family cemetery. Come on, Bruce! I'm a friend, I promise! He calls, his knife glinting in the random lightning strikes. The villain turns as the boy darts from behind a headstone, distracting him, when suddenly there is movement, and Alfred steps out, shotgun in hand. Die, demon! He screams, the weapon bucking in his hands as he fires again and again. Die, and you go back to the hell you came from! The villain laughs as he struggles to his feet, the empty click of Alfred's weapon betraying his lack of ammo. 
You almost had me. Just a couple more shots. The Batman who last struggles. But before he can move against Alfred, a boot connects with his head from behind. Why the hell aren't you changing? He snarls as he turns to see Batman behind him smiling. Just lucky, I guess. The trap springs around them as the grave lifts and the weapons activate. They rotate and the one who laughs merely stares. You think a few tasers are gonna stop me? He questions, yet his words are cut short as the weapons fire, harpoons piercing his limbs. A brief moment passes and the shock courses through his body, pulling a horrific scream from his lips. But the Batman who laughs barely slows, beginning to rip the sharp metal from his body. Batman rips free his mother's headstone, crossing the ground quickly. You know who's a bigger joke than the worst Batman? He asks as he swings the heavy slab of stone, cracking his enemy across the face. The Batman that he beats. The one who last falls away, his jaw dislocated, his smile hanging, and a horrible grin. Batman pauses, staring at him. Why aren't you laughing? He says with a giggle in his throat. At the reservoir, the Grim Knight is still calling for James to slit his father's throat as he holds him underwater. When finally James moves forward and buries the knife deep into the Grim Knight's back, he screams at the enemy as he plunges the blade over and over again. Back at the manor though, Batman continues to slam the gravestone into the one who laughs. The villain hits the ground hard, so he swings again! And he laughs, the sound echoing into the night. <laughs> Alfred moves forward, trying to pull his ward off the villain, yet Batman throws him away. It's the best feeling in the world, Alfred. <laughs> his foot slamming again and again into the one who laughs. Everyone in the world needs to feel this way. He screams into the night, holding the slab of concrete high, staring down at the face of the one who laughs, thanking him for giving him this feeling. Hey, bats! A voice calls out of the shadows. The hero turns to see the sight of the Joker standing there, weapon in hand, smile spread across his face. You're welcome! He says as he squeezes the trigger. Later, Bruce stands in the Batcave, the glow of the forge that is melting his dark metal visor reflecting off his eyes. Alfred comes up behind him, staring at his bandaged ward. He's surprised that the young Bruce's blood acted so quickly to reverse the change within his Bruce. Yet he is proud of the young man for withstanding the change for so long. Force of will. Yet Bruce knows that it wasn't a force of will. He explains to Alfred that he believes that the Joker rigged the toxin that was in his heart to give Bruce more time than anyone thought. To give him just enough time. Somewhere in the city, James Gordon is preparing to return to prison, but Commissioner Gordon arrives to speak to his son. He's pulled a few strings and his son won't be going back to prison. James pauses, looking at his father. He isn't quite at the point of health that he wanted his father to believe. I'm not there yet, he tells him. Gordon smiles, neither is he. But they're both working on it. In a strange moment of peace within Gotham City, father and son embrace in a hug. And finally, Gordon heads off into the hustle of the city. He heads outside and one of the police officers notices his pale skin and strange gait. Commissioner, you okay? You don't look so good. Gordon nods, turning away as he pulls free his glasses, revealing that his eyes, well, they're red with the insanity of the Joker toxin. Never better. He smiles. And that concludes our epic Batman Who Laughs storyline that we've been running for a couple of months now. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and stick around because we're going to be bringing you the Batman Last Night storyline next right here at the Comic Story and Channel. Subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell to let you know when the videos are coming live. And don't forget, we also bring you content from video games and movies and more comic books. So you're going to get everything you want, even if you are just waiting for Batman. Thank you for your continued support for everything that we do here. We really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time at Comic Storian.